Apple Airsoft here. A review of the KWA CQB M4. First things first, this gun is full metal and it runs you about $275, $300, depending on which airsoft store you go to. Start off with the top of the gun, I'll work my way down. You have your orange flash hider. For my extent, I do not know if you can remove this. I wouldn't because I like the way it looks and the orange chip isn't too bright. This is full metal. This flash out is metal. Front sights are metal. Handguard is plastic, which I like because this gun with the battery inside the hand grip, uh, it's very lopsided the weight, and that kind of throws you off when you're playing because all the weights up here, there's no weight in the stock, which I kind of don't like on this gun. But the battery is stocked in here. And these, this is plastic. Moving on to the carrying handle. This is full metal and provides good iron sights to the gun. You can take this off with the screws right here. It's very easy to remove. If you want to remove it, you can. And you can attach a scope or a red dot. I like the iron sights on the M4. So I really wouldn't remove it. If you really don't like the way it looks on the gun, you can take it off, but I like the way it looks. Moving down, we have the full metal receiver, your mag release, which releases the mag. This mag they give you is gray and holds 300 rounds. It is a high cap magazine. The dust cover can be opened by pulling this back and releasing it forward. Uh, this does expose the hop-up, which is right here. This really doesn't... This is a non-blowback gun, so you really don't need that to be open. So I keep it closed so uh, dust and dirt doesn't get inside it. We've gone to the other side. You have your trademarks. It says KWA, KM4CQV, and all that other stuff. You have uh, it's the receiver's full metal, the fire selector switch, you have semi right here, and full auto right here. And you have safe. The pistol grip is plastic. I don't like the feel of this pistol grip. It feels a little cheap, but that's because on my G4 I have one kind of like molded to my hand, so it feels better. But this, this is still good if you're used to the standard M4. The trigger is full metal, which is good because not cheap plastic won't break on you. You have uh, this button right here. Basically, when you're shooting a full auto, the spring comes back and pushes forward. So this actually resets it so it doesn't stay back and break. You have your full metal stock. This is at zero. This is at five. I prefer at five because I think you get more stability out of it compared to zero, which is better for CQB gameplay. This gun, like I said, is like the weight is all towards this hand grip. It would have been nice to give a crane stock on this with the battery so it could even out the weight a little bit because the weight is centered towards the front. This gun is very durable because of the full metal body and KWA did a good job with making sure the externals are superb and the internals are also very good because KWA is a brand you can trust. The accuracy of this gun is very good, especially for CQB. Shoots at 30 feet, you can hit a man sized target easily, which is more than enough for CQB. This gun's rate of fire is it's decent, but I use an 8.4 with this. Obviously it would improve with a 9.4 and the accuracy the not the accuracy trigger response would improve also. I would buy this gun if you have the money for it. Definitely not a beginner gun. More of an intermediate to high level airsoft player because of the price and durability of this gun. If you do buy this gun, if you want more realism, this is a high cap so it has the winding tool on the bottom. I would recommend buying mid caps for this gun to give you more realistic feeling to the airsoft play.
I would do that only because you're paying about two hundred seventy five dollars on this gun and you're probably not a beginner so you probably know the game of airsoft and you want to step it up to the next level to make it more realistic it's a big apple airsoft here I'm gonna rate comment and subscribe and we're out